In this video, I am just showing how I went about doing a manual small incision cataract surgery in a black cataract. Initially, after doing my peritomy, I go ahead and do some cautery and then put my initial incision, it's almost a straight incision, with my uh, number 15 Bart Parker knife. I then take the crescent blade and fashion a sclerocornial tunnel and you can watch the my movements I'm going across most of my movements are sidewards and backwards minimally forwards and this is uh, with the view not to prematurely enter the anterior chain that's fashioning the scleral pockets and once I am sure that it is uh, wide enough I go ahead put in first my side port incision enter the chamber with the keratome put in some air and stain the capsule with tripan glue. I then expel both the air as well as the tripan glue with 2% uh, HPMC. Put some HPMC over the cornea as well. And then with my cystitome, there is a bent 26 gauge needle. I am aiming to create a large excess. This is a huge nucleus. You cannot perform an SICS creating a small rex but it be a little careful this probably uh, the zonules are a little weak and that's why I'm having trouble actually controlling this rex but once I have uh, finished the lower part the upper part seems to be pretty easy and that's it huge rexes, more than enough. I then go ahead, take my keratome and open up the incision completely. I have no bridal suture in place. My incision is at 12 o'clock and my only fixation is with the limbs forceps. Having uh, finished the rexus and opening up the incision, I then perform my hydro dissection and I am performing it in multiple areas and trying to rotate the nucleus as well. The, the nucleus has come forward, it's definitely hydro dissected. Put in some viscoelastic and then this is my preferred method. I push the nucleus to one side with one dialer hook one of the poles with the opposite dialer and then uh, engaging the nucleus on its equator I try to pull the nucleus out and here, here you cannot take out the nucleus in this position it's impossible the nucleus is still within the back in the lower area it has to be completely rotated into the anterior chamber do not try to express it at this time, it's not going to come out, you're only going to get vitreous. So I again put in viscoelastic, take both my dialers, get to that uh, pole, the equator, equator and then keep rotating, hand over hand motion, a cartwheel like motion and there I have brought it into the anterior chain. Then give some posterior scleral pressure and bring it on. And look what a large nucleus that is. Now you try FACO on this, you are going to be in the eye for a very long time. And believe me, you are going to produce collateral damage. So I think in a case, in such a cataract, it's better to go ahead with SICS. It's less traumatic. It's, uh, uh, it's faster with SICS. It is... Uh, less traumatic as I said both for the patient as well as for the surgeon. 
the uh, cortex you have to be a little careful in these cases many times these zonules are weak so be very careful as you bring out the cortex do not bring out the capsule with it however everything is going on well most of the uh, cortex you can take it out from the incision but the sub incisional cortex I think it is better to go in through the uh, side port. this gives you fantastic control and it is very easy to take off all the cortex from, from the sub incisional side. Once I have done this just put in some viscoelastic take my rigid uh, PMMA lens and I am pushing it straight into the back all in one motion. Finally, as per the uh, HPMC put in my intracameral antibiotic and hydrate only the parasynthesis and conclude. Thank you so much for watching.